And then a gasp of amazement and satisfaction runs round the world. The Prime Minister decides to fly to a personal meeting with the German Chancellor. The tension eases, as if the world had suddenly seen a gleam of hope in the darkness of despair. For behind those days of crisis has loomed a dark spectre. Yet the world has realised that war, over three and a half million people in the present land of Bohemia, would be a folly and a crime. So at Heston, after 69 years of a busy life, Mr Chamberlain makes his first trip in a plane. I'm There's nice. proof of his determination. The German Chancellor, because the situation seems to me to be one in which discussion between him and me may have useful consequences. My policy has always been to try to ensure peace and the Führer's ready acceptance of my suggestion encourages me to hope that my visit to him will not be without result. And the small crowd at Heston expresses what the world is thinking. This scene in the long shadows of early morning may yet become one of the great moments of history. The Foreign Minister, Lord Halifax, looks into the distance, towards the mountains where the Führer waits. And the world prays fervently that the roar of this plane, this dramatic meeting, this man of the moment, may bring peace. I want to say that the settlement of the Czechoslovakian problem, which has now been achieved, is, in my view, only the prelude to a larger settlement in which all Europe may find peace. This morning, I had another talk with the German Chancellor, Herr Hitler. And here is the paper which bears his name upon it as well as mine. Some of you perhaps have already heard what it contains, but I would just like to read it to you. We, the German Führer and Chancellor and the British Prime Minister, have had a further meeting today and are agreed in recognizing that the question of Anglo-German relations is of the first importance for the two countries and for Europe. We regard the agreement signed last night and the Anglo-German naval agreement as symbolic of the desire of our two peoples never to go to war with one another again. We are resolved that the method of consultation yes, yes. shall be the method adopted uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. to deal with any other questions that may concern our two countries, and we are determined <coughs> to continue our efforts to remove possible sources of difference and thus to contribute to assure the peace of Europe. From Heston, a triumphal progress as Mr. Chamberlain drives to report immediately to His Majesty the King at Buckingham Palace. And in this, perhaps the most historic spot of the Empire's capital, let the people themselves...